Hello, Karen Barber here. I'm here to give you a wonderful idea on how to use decorations to make yourself a prayerful spot during this Christmas season. Now we're looking into my living room and it's full of old furniture from our grandparents' homes. And my sister Susan came and helped me decorate. And this year I have collected some icons from various places and I just said that we would like to use these icons as part of our Christmas decor. So we looked to see what we had around the house and we've combined them with the icons to make worshipful centers where we can center on Christ and who He is. For instance, I had this cross already from a hobby store and my sister took a fishing line and just put this beautiful icon onto the cross and it's Christ praying which is very, very uh, symbolic here it is at the cross, and he's praying about his sacrifice on the cross. You'll notice at the base of this, I have some of those candles, which are battery-operated. They look like real votives, but they're battery-operated, so they're safer to have on for longer periods of time. So there's one idea you can use. Here's one of my favorite icons, and that is to hang one over a mirror. Now, this is kind of a small icon, and when we hung it here over this beautiful Victorian mirror, it was a little too small. And so we got the idea of hanging this big wreath around it. And it was just the right color, those red berries. Now I will tell you, it wasn't easy to make that hang where we wanted it to, but we used wire and fishing line. And we also took a little bit of glittery light ribbon to go around it to give you that glittery effect. I'm going to give you a little close-up of this icon. It's a beautiful one. This is a hand-painted one from it, Romania which I love very much. And it's beautifully displayed here. So you can come and you can take a look at the details as you're praying in this room. Now this picture right here is a big Victorian picture of Mary and Jesus, which is always here in my living room. However, at Christmas all I did was take some of this branches of greenery, and I didn't even wire them up or anything. I just stuck them in the back of the frame and there they sit. And this little Victorian shelf is always here in the corner of my living room. For Christmas we simply took a beautiful icon, set it on the shelf, and then put another one of those battery operated votives in here, put a little greener around it, and we have an absolutely beautiful picture of Christ where we can meditate. Now one of my favorite places here is an old secretary that belonged to my grandmother. And we have made this into kind of a little altar area where we can display a number of different icons. Let's look up here at the top. There's an old-fashioned lamp up here. And in this lamp, we decided to put, display another cross. And at the foot of this cross, a very small triptych type icon is at the base. It was the perfect place for it and it really shows it off and makes it meditative. Underneath in this glass cabinet, isn't it wonderful that you can use these votive candles which are battery operated. These tall candles I purchased at a home improvement store. They're great because they're battery operated and you don't have to have wires and things. I want to show you this though. You say, well gee, I don't have any icons to display. This right here is simply a Christmas card that I put into an old beautiful frame that I have. So if you don't have icons, that's fine. You can still use a Christmas card in a frame that looks really classical. This is one of my favorite icons here. This is the Tree of Life with Christ with his disciples on the vine. Absolutely beautiful. Love it. There's so much to think about there. And down here we have beautiful Mary and baby Jesus. And this is a, actually a small mirror that I bought. It's a Victorian mirror. It's metal. And it turned out that this was just the perfect size to display this icon of Mary. Now this isn't a fine icon. It's just a print. But it's beautiful. And it was the right size. And we just took a little fishing line and threaded it through there and put it on there. As you can see, we've used the ribbon. This is just a little ornament right here that we had. We've used ribbon and greenery, and here we have some real candles, some votives. Here's a really good thing that you can do to really show things off. We've just put a mirror on top of this 
piece of furniture. And this mirror reflects the light, it reflects the icon. It just gives you this wonderful depth and feeling when you're contemplating this icon. These votives I actually picked up at a thrift store, but they were perfect for what we wanted. So as you can see, there are just so many ways to bring a lot of beautiful ways to contemplate on who Christ is and to have a prayerful setting for your Christmas devotions. So when I sit here in the morning, I can not only do my prayer time and think of Christ, but I can also look at these icons and learn what they are telling my soul. Merry Christmas and may God bless you. Amen.